Hey everyone, Brittany here, and I thought I would show you guys, um, a, or not show, I thought I would make a video to show you guys how I record and edit my videos and um, how I do my commentary or voiceover on my videos as well. Uh, a lot of, or some of you know that I use a Mac uh, instead of a PC, so these products are tailored towards a Mac and um, a PVR. So here we go. <laughs> um, so how I, I guess, record um, with my PVR, the PVR came with software and that software actually isn't compatible with a Mac. So there's two products out there that I know of. One is called ITV and that's a paid product that you'd have to pay for, or obviously you have to pay for. Uh, it's $80 and I actually shelled out the $80 for this product before I realized maybe I should have tried to uh, download it from the internet for free <laughs> but oh well live and you learn um, but this is ITV um, this is how I pretty much record my gameplay I can you know view it up here as well and then view the recordings here that I have and then play them back if I want to after I've recorded them as you can see I'm playing Halo or I was but uh, to record it's really simple you just press the record button and my recording started and uh, when I want to stop the recording I just hit stop and then it'll show up here in my ITV programs I uh, you'll see the recording here <laughs> so it's pretty simple uh, it's really fast to export I don't know why before I um I uninstalled this and then reinstalled it and now the export time is like really fast so I'm not really sure why that is but you can also get another program I think it's called like HD PVR or something like that I don't know it's a free program but for some reason it doesn't work for me so I don't use it um, I just don't really like it all that much uh, I really like ITV and it works the best for me so that's what I use so once I'm done recording my gameplay how I edit them <laughs> How I edit them is I use Adobe Premiere Pro. I used to use CS4, but I actually got the CS5 suite or collection. So I edit everything in here. And it's really similar to, um, what do you call it, Vegas, where you know you have you import your clips here. You can view them here. And um, here's your timeline. And here are your effects that you can put in. Uh, I do a lot of just simple editing where I, you know, change the volume levels, I add fade in, fade outs, I uh, split clips, and things like that. So this is how I edit my videos um, to export them. If you guys actually use Adobe Premiere Pro, um, here are my export settings. I export them in the H.264 format and then I use a pre I used the preset which was uh, YouTube widescreen HD and then I just tweaked it a little bit. I changed the frame rate I think here. Yeah, I changed it to 60 which really doesn't matter because I think it's on 30. So it um, records it in an MP4 format and that's what works best for me because I can get it into the smallest file size without having to re-render it multiple times. So uh, that's what I use, and you can see the uh, the summary here of what the information looks like on my export settings. Uh, so if you want to copy them, go right ahead, but I'm not really sure how many of you actually use this program to edit. I know a lot of people use, uh, what's it called, uh, Vegas to edit. So, um, so that's what I use to edit and export, and how I get my audio commentary on there is I actually use this program called ScreenFlow and this is a desktop recording program but I actually use it for my audio so as I'm watching the playback on my video uh, like you know doing commentary on the video I'll have it playing here and I'll have um, ScreenFlow going and it will just be recording my desktop and while I'm doing the voiceover for my commentary and once I'm done with that this is what it looks like it comes up with this and you'll have my uh, voice right here the audio right here and then I just export it I actually delete the screen recording which is really easy you just delete it <laughs> and it exports a lot faster because you're not exporting um, the video here so you just go file export and then you just customize the settings which usually I 
change the sound setting I think to 128 oh and then the quality I change it to the best and then the video size doesn't really matter and the dimensions don't matter because once I get it into Adobe Premiere Pro I just delete out the blank screen that's on there so that is what I use on my Mac um, I got ScreenFlow is actually a hundred dollars for this program but if you guys are you know crafty you can find it for free and I'm not gonna link you to it but you can just do your research and it's pretty easy to find um, for the Adobe CS5 collection um, yeah so that's how I record on the Mac side of things um, I may make a video showing how I do the stuff on the Windows side but I don't really know if you guys want to see that because I'm pretty sure most of you guys probably edit uh, on a PC not a Mac so I mean if you guys want to see it I can show you like with fraps and stuff like that but uh, right now I just don't think I'm gonna add it because it's um, yeah I don't know it seems like the majority of people who watch videos and comment at least on my channel RPC users so this is just to show you the Mac side of things so thanks so much for watching and you guys have a great day bye